Welcome to the greatest real estate meeting of all time, 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 time. I own my own little boutique office in Briarcliff Manor. Um, this, we just are now living in very interesting times. Trying to figure out how we can proceed in getting things done, either new business or just current business. A little more affiliated with Keller Williams and NY Realty. Uh, of course, we're going through some uh, weird times here, but. Uh, I think uh, most of us will uh, readapt ourselves and do what we need to do to continue to move forward and not only help our clients, but help each other. Uh, this, is a, this is a time where we kind of, uh, although we're competitors in a way, but we're really not, you know, we all, there's enough business out there for everybody. And I think we all just kind of really stick together and, uh, you know, play nice and uh, do what we can for each other. That's, that's, that's my take on everything so far. here in our office, Mr. Choice Realty uh, in Hartsdale and Scarsdale. Uh, both of our offices are temporarily closed for the moment and uh, we look forward to, I'm here with John Crittenden behind me. We say welcome to everyone, uh, stay healthy and we will look forward to this conversation. Interesting times. It's like we're uh... We're, we're seeing things, uh, our heads are exploding, but in slow motion. So our minds are racing, but in slow motion with all this crazy changes. So I'm particularly interested in the, um, uh, not doing business part. Okay. So that, that is the issue. Um, some states have deemed real estate or housing to be essential and, um, I'm shocked that the governor, who's former HUD secretary, would would uh, would gag us. And hello, everybody. I'm glad to be here. Uh, I think it's a little scary, but knowing who we are and what we do and the people around us, that we will get through this. It's going to get probably a little worse before it gets better, but we will come through this. And thank you for being here and you guys, it's great to see everybody. I'm Eric Stein with Remax and Tuckahoe. Um, you know, I've done a lot of conference calls and webinars and stuff in the last few days and stuff like this, I think is the most important um, that we can do. I've been trying to put, you know, positive messages on video, on social media out there for everybody. And I think I'm gonna ask everybody on this group to get out there, do a video afterwards, spread the positive stuff. You know, I'm hearing from my agents, they're good one day, the next morning they're scared. You know, we're all scared. You know, this is unprecedented. Body with Great American Title and White Plains. Thank you, Mark. I'm impressed with the lineup that you have here today. Um, I'm happy to be included and I do know most of you. So thank you for organizing this. I think there is a lot of uncertainty, a lot of unanswered questions, but I think United, we can all help each other out to that change that we need to make under the circumstances. Haggerty, CEO of Hudson Gateway Association of Realtors. Uh, I think most of you know I live in Manhattan on the Upper East Side, and I'm looking out at a bunch of cranes out going southward, and they're not going to be working for a while because uh, that's one of the industries that's also been shut down. We are in interesting times, but I think, Phil, to go to your point, I think what we can do is start to get creative, and after I think we get through a period of uncertainty we can come back with recommendations on how we can actually conduct real estate and show properties in a manner that does protect the safety of both of our members as well as our clients branch manager and loan originator at loan depot uh, in tarrytown uh yeah i mean definitely i mean I, Mortgage lending is apparently is part of the banking sector and is considered an, is considered an essential service. However, uh, we obviously have to figure out um, how the mortgage company can function without all the people 
on this call. Um, so they're going to have to expand, you know, that out to the entire industry, which to, to Phil's point, I think to, you know, under the umbrella of housing, um, because obviously we can't close a mortgage without an attorney and we can't put deals together without real estate agents and home inspectors. So I think um, you're right in getting this together and being a united front and, um, you know, keep, keep hoping to keep business going as usual, but maybe not as, you know, as we normally do it. Irene Amato, the owner of ASAP Mortgage. I am thankful for Mark for putting this call together. I do think the most important thing is to keep the positivity. We're leaders in the industry and it, we have to lead. And by leading, you have to lead by example. And I think it's very important to be positive. I went through the meltdown. I'm not, I don't know about everybody on the call, but as a small mortgage brokerage firm back in 2006, seven and eight, um, I thought the world was ending. I mean, banks were going out of business. Thousands and thousands of people were getting laid off and nobody thought we'd, I'd last and we did. And we all bounced back and as you know, united together, we'll bounce back from this. We just got a curve ball and we have to figure out how to get around it. And I love this call because I think that it's very helpful for all of us to mastermind. Good afternoon, everyone. Mark, thanks again for uh, putting this together. Um, I'm an attorney, just like Brett, uh, just like Jim Dabini. We do a lot of buy, sell, and bank work. Uh, from what we've been reading, uh, we are indeed essential um, workers right now. I know that most attorneys are indeed working and will be continuing to process transactions. Right now, uh, I'm sure Brett will be able to tell you this as well. We, we're working with about 10 other attorneys, uh, which hopefully we're gonna expand. And we're working on procedures to actually be able to get closings done uh, safely for our clients um, and just to get them done. Uh, we have a proposal between a few, uh, few of these attorneys um, on how we're gonna conduct these closings. We're kind of still working those out, but I am confident that we will be able to work these out and we will get closings done for everybody. Uh, one way or the other. It's just going to take, as people have been saying, a little creativity. Uh, it's going to be a little more uh, work for everyone, but we will get it done and we will be successful and we will get through this. And that's the message I think that um, we should all be putting forth. I think the biggest challenge for us as attorneys is the closing portion of the transaction because that's when everybody gets paid. And right now we had a really busy February, so I have a lot in the pipeline that's ready to close now. Um, our office has 22 closings this week that we're trying to figure out what we're gonna do. Um, so it's kind of like, and I have no staff, so I had to send everybody to work from home and try to figure it all out. We definitely have to figure something to do to get these closings done. I'm offering free power of attorney drafting for clients just to help out keeping people out of the office. Um, title companies are offering to help with, you know, holding things in escrow until we can record with the clerks. Um, one of the title company issues I heard the other day is they can't run content searches. So you could have a buyer buying a house, they can't run a content, they don't know if there are judgments that came up last minute against any of the parties. So there's a title insurance issue there, and then all the clerks are closed, so. I mean, we don't record immediately in New York. That's the good thing. So they can hold things. Um, I'm just worried about getting all these deals, you know, closed and then making all our buyers and sellers comfortable. I had a couple of buyers this week that backed out because they're nervous about losing their jobs, about timing. Um, Anthony and I and a few other attorneys drafted a clause for our contract to help ease everyone's fears and allow excused delays. I think um, using Zoom and this type of technology is going to be critically important for all of us in the coming weeks and months to go and may even become um, a, a, a part of our normal practice going forward, which I think would be a great idea. Um, as was um, echoed earlier about the attorneys, um, you know, I don't think the problem really lies with the attorneys. Granted, my office has been shut down and uh, my attorneys are working from home now. Um, luckily, um, we, we had a bit of a... Um, disaster plan in place and so we we have voip phones um which automatically transfer to anywhere um our associates are 
Um, we have um, all of our uh, data is online in the cloud. So we have access to our computers anywhere uh, in the world. So, um, you know, we're still operating. Um, granted, um, you know, there's crickets in my office right now, but, um, you know, we're busy. But um, as, as was mentioned earlier, the trick is, is, is getting to the closing table now. Um, you know, what we've, had, what we've been doing on all our commercial closings is escrow closings. And I think that's something that we need to adopt on the, on the residential side. A lot of people who just do residential are not too familiar with it or, you know, or, or the buyers themselves maybe, or the parties are, are, are um, uh, not familiar with the concept, but, you know, it, it really works smoothly. And, um, you know, as long as everyone's uh, pulling in the same direction, um, it, it's a real clean way to do a closing without everyone sitting down at a closing table. So I think that's something we should all uh, be look, taking a closer look at uh, to uh, to keep the, the balls moving forward. Again, thanks for having me and, and happy to participate going forward.